Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War source podcast, this side of East Yorkshire. And today we've got a one versus one on meeting of minds. Playing left aside as the Imperial Guard, we've got Master Yoda. Playing right side as the Sisters of Battle, we've got Scouty. Scouty will be opening up with a couple of missionaries, a pristine sanctuary, plasma generator, and a Adeptus Sororitas convent. As Master Yoda is going to go for triple guardsman, a tech priest engine seer, and a infantry command. Now, I was perusing through the Dawn of War Replays website today, and I really fancied casting a Imperial Guard match, so I, I, you know, I put that on the settings to look for one. And I noticed that this replay had about 33 uh, downloads, which was quite incredible to see. Now, for those of you who are not in uh, the general amount of like a really well-downloaded uh, replay is usually maybe like 8 or 10, something like that, so it's usually a good sign that's going to be a good one, but 33 downloads... Um, I'm expecting this one to be quite the um, excellent game, especially with the roster of players that I've got here. Scouty and Master Yerba, damn fine players in their own right. Also, Master Yerba uh, is quite active in the balance mod, and he's active in the Don War stats thingy-majiggy. I don't know how much because I can't read Russian, but uh, he does have a YouTube channel, which um, has some bits and bobs on there, so I will link that in the description below. Now, interesting that we're seeing the Pristine Sanctuary uh, not being finished, but we're already seeing some Battle Sisters on the way. And I did just recently do a video for the Patreon uh, where we saw some Battle Sisters opening. So I assume then we're going to see some uh, Phosphorus Grenades to go up against the lightly armoured Imperial Guard Infantry, breaking the morale, doing that AoE damage and burning them to a crisp. So, yeah, I mean, on the channel, we've not seen uh, this opening very often before, if at all, really. Also got to appreciate Scouty's little little symbol there. Very nice. A skull with a, I assume, a fist. It's a bunch of people. Do you have a symbol on yours? It's a, it's a something, and I assume it's cool. Yeah, I quite like it when players use their own banners. Very nice stuff. Got a priest joining the commander, although that looks like not being friends at the moment. <laughs> they're, they're kind of on a bit of a hiatus from each other. They're, they're, they're not on speaking terms. He's going to run off on his own. He's an independent man who could do it by himself. Going up against the ladies, wearing some wonderfully teal blue trousers as well. So nice. Got some beautiful pink capes on the battle sisters. Reese found the catches up. Also now got a side kit to join them. Imperial Guardsmen charging forward. Phosphor grenades in front right on top of them. But the command squad does have a good chunk of armor. Oh, sorry, should I say uh, morale to make use of. It's quite hard to break the morale straight away. But definitely good to reduce the health of their little uns inside that unit as well. So they'll have to fall back, hiding inside the heavy cover. And a beautiful map for the Imperial Guard as well. Lots of shirt points for them to defend. Lots of heavy cover for them to sit in as well. And we're not going to see the tactical control for them straight away, so no grenade launchers or plasma guns for them potentially in tier 2. Sisters thinking about going over here, but the Bill Guard are going to hide inside listing first for their last gun fire. Also going to upgrade that a fortified position add-on. Same with the relic over here, so it looks like Master Yerba is going to play the turtle game. Which is no shame in it. I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of the bread and butter of the Imperial Guard. Sit in your base a little bit, play a bit defensive. I mean, it did seem to try and perk and prod, but seeing the sheer amount of Battle Sisters, knowing that he's not going to go for upgraded Imperial Guardsmen, he knows full well that if he goes outside of his comfort zone... Where, where, where are you going? <laughs> Just enjoying the view. Maybe hiding. Seeing if that the Imperial Guard will come out so they can do maybe a flanking maneuver. That might be the potential... One weakness of this plan, though, is that the sisters can now capture the critical locations, which will force the Imperial Guard to move out, potentially at a non-convenient time, which is, you know, not ideal for them. Guardsmen moving to the south. Ladies moving to the north. Have the listing post now finished with its add-on upgrade. And do have a couple of ecclesiastical servitors. But these guys can be used in an offensive capacity. And come over and do their discombobulation or whatever you call that ability. While well, they're able to do a lot of damage to buildings. Might be a bit difficult, especially if Listing Post focuses on the Servitors. Got the Guardsmen, and yeah, the thing is probably a little bit too much in the way of damage. Although maybe if they get some laying of hands on, move them forward, that'll tank the damage a little bit. Got to make sure that their timing is absolutely impeccable. Let's move forward to also. Move these guardsmen back. Mike, uh, could really do it. There we go. Gonna, gonna throw a fossil grenade in there. Instantly break the morale. Also double the damage. Look how quickly those guys burn to a crisp. Double 
Physio Conservatos trying to turn it into mulch, but this thing first does manage to shoot them down. Very nice bit of micro for Master Yerba there. Also, guys, we're going to jump out as more lads are sent to join the listing first. One squad being wiped out again. As the Battle Sisters fall back with that laying of hands. It's not losing all that. I mean, they've lost double Ecclesiarchal Servitors, but that is not the end of the world for them. Six minutes and they've still got that countdown on the go for them. Tier 2 on the way for Master Yerba. Are you on the way to Tier 2? You are finished, Tier 2, actually. I assume by the spiky bits. You've got triple plasma generators. Current economy is 110 and 40. Compared to 122 and 40. Also going to see the blessed armor and a manufactorum as well. Now it's going to be interesting. How are the sisters going to crack open the Imperial Guard's base? These players, obviously being very experienced, they know exactly the weaknesses and strengths of their own factions and the enemy's factions. In my head, would it be lightning strike fighters to fly an over and strike at all these squishy bits in the center where there's been no upgrade listing posts? That might be an idea. Some penitent engines to charge forth, absorb the damage while the sisters sit back comfortably. Maybe a rhino or two to fight over here, but then bring the ladies down and do some stuff. I, I doubt the rhinos because the Imperial Guard can traverse the map quite quickly using their underground tunnels. Now we're going to see a Chimera or two. Also, now the got one plasma gun and one grenade launcher as well. Oh no, they're going to go for one plasma gun and double grenade launchers. Plasma gun for the damage, grenade launcher for the knockback. Oh, you are going to go for Rhino. Okay. Interessant, but you are also going for triple heavy bolters, so go in, do the damage. Command squad comes in to tie you guys up. You pull back, but the Psyker can do the Curse Machine Spirit to hold him in place, sir. Scary times in the pipelines. I get, just love this shade of blue. I'm a teal kind of guy myself. I do love that shade. Chimera comes in over. Makes use of that heavy cover. Zap on that Rhino Transport. Is there a priest in these guys' ranks? I can't see one, but... Unless that was like a particularly long range one from them. Uh, Attempted to flank, but then also been flanked by some Celestians. Those laying of hands keeping the sisters online very nicely. It was a good idea for Master Yerba. It looks like he's also trying to do some parallel parking here. Very nice stuff. But yeah, just the counter flank. Keeps the sisters forward. Merchant on the go. Also has Inferno pistols. Markable accuracy. Commissar just abandoning the chaps. That's fine. There's plenty more lads that he can join. Got the priest in there for increased movement speed on the guardsman. And also want to hit tier 3. They can be kept alive for prolonged periods of, periods of time. Imagine it's like a laying of the hands, but they can't lay their hands on them because, you know, it's... That'd just be too much. It's the Imperial Guardsman. Not in this regiment, young man. Not in this regiment, indeed. But the sisters now focusing on the listing post outside here. I like it. They're not committing too much to any kind of side. They're just poking and prodding. Trying to break down the Imperial Guards economy as and when they can Got some celestians moving around the sides to keep these guardsmen occupied doom being witnessed as they're being zapped and a chimera being shut down oh one celestian squad yeah i'm, I'm not sure if, if that was the most efficacious use of celestians but you know it looked cool we have excelled at battle. there we go falling back countdown still on the go two and a half minutes left and it's scouty's game really at this point Economy is 128 and 80, compared to 79 and 40. Imperial Guard really low in economy at the moment. They definitely need to make a play on these critical locations. Thermo Plasma Generator being finished up. And the Rhino Transport is coming in just to pester and bother. And the Imperial Guardsman's perspective. Uh, let me say that again. From the Imperial Guardsman's perspective, they don't know whether this Rhino is full of ladies or not. Guess Machine Spirit goes on it either way. Sisters now making a play for the southern sections. Tech Priest Agency is hiding inside that mechanized command. And 1 minute and 44. But that is quite a sizable amount of guardsmen. You have chosen wisely. And they've got their weapons. They've got their mini heroes as well. One Chimera holding the line. Looks like they might potentially lose another listening person as well. 
But if the Imperial Guard can get round the side, that might potentially stop the sisters from being able to retreat. A smite from that Commissar, uh, not Commissar, the I mean, Priest, Confessor, that's what he is. Someone. A high-ranked official in the sisters' army structure. You know, all that firepower, the Imperial Guardsmen definitely got the unit and weapon composition to take care of the sisters very nicely. One minute until take and hold victory. The Imperial Guardsmen playing it very close to the, to the chin at the moment. More firepower. Don't think the sisters can really hold them back for now, but they're going to give it a good old college try. Fossil grenades over on that side. The Commissar can shoot his own men, but rather than sacrificing a lad, he's going to pull back a little bit. Oh, that, that's a nice kind Commissar. Oh, no, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> for a second, I thought Master Yerba was going to play it nice and keep people calm. We've got the Imperial Guardsmen over here as well. Decapping stuff, so I'll be all fine for them. Command squad taking on the Celestians over here. And yeah, the sisters really need to leave this space here. There's nothing for them to gain in this situation. They've done a good job at keeping the economy low for the Imperial Guardsmen. But they might lose their economic advantage. Not necessarily by, um, how would one say, by, you know, I mean, they've still got the economy incoming and still plenty of money to spend. But if they lose units, they've got to rebuy them, which then kind of negates the economic advantage that they've been so carefully maintaining throughout the entirety of the game. We've got some, I don't know, some eldritch swearing going on here, I imagine. Capital letters. They're number three as well. 33, by the looks of things. That's one thing I'll never understand about the Cyrillic alphabet. I'm, 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 I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not getting confused. Why put numbers in your alphabet? That's just confusing, man. I did try and learn Russian a little while ago, as well as trying to learn German a while ago. Gave up, uh, gave up on birth. As I just have the time, all the patience, all the inclination. My brain is too busy being full of utterly useless information and to teach it how to do actual useful stuff. Well, the siege going on down south. Sisters managing to take on these guardsmen over here. They're trying to run away as best they can. Rhino going to chase after him. Also got an exorcist. Somewhere are you over there? Damn fine idea. Huge spread on those missiles. Although, dear, I don't want to come too close. Oh, you're going to be caught out of position. You're practically just throwing missiles on its own position. Being caught out by that cursed machine spirit. And even though there's no actual anti vehicle weaponry here, you still take it down. And a one singular missile to take on the Chimera, but not quite. The Exodus goes down. I want to put it here. There, or just someone that's not in the front lines. Those guardsmen being fully upgraded with everything and anything. Quite the tricky scenario for the sisters. I'll try and go for some more missionaries. Yeah, I think just some penitent engines. Just grab some of those boys, throw them in the front lines. The guardsmen can't fire at you if they're being punched in the face by some angry woman changed to a machine. That's a general principle, isn't it? That's what Sun Tzu said in his book of Art of War. I read it. I mean, I've not read it. I listened to the audiobook of it. Like I do with all books. Because I can't be bothered to read. Real guard getting the decaps in. Still just lads and paddy wagons, really. All laying of hands. Celestians coming out to take care of the chimeras, but... Imperial Guard just don't seem to be taking no for an answer. But the southern side does seem to be struggling a little bit more than the northern side. Gonna chase them away. Both cameras are broken down. Now the Exodus can focus on sorting these lads out, but another decap on the northern side as well. Sisters now coming out in force. Whole bunch of ladies. I was going to go for the Celestians that have no upgrades on their weapons at the moment, just for the bolt guns for the damage and all that stuff. And it's just a proper hodgepodge of fleeing and fighting. Not the most controlled retreat you've ever done did seen, but the Imperial Guard seem to be keen on staying in the centre here. Commas are keeping the men inspired as the Exist once again moves a little bit sheepishly forward. Another curse machine spirit. 
Bill Gad will now focus on taking that one out as well. It's such a shame. The Exist is able to do so much damage. I mean, they've got another one over here. So that's fine, but how expensive are you? I mean, we're not seeing another one being built, but they're definitely going to be the main vehicle that they want to bring out to do the damage to the Imperial Guard here. Keeping the men on their toes as the Celestians try and come over here, but now the Imperial Guard is surrounded by choke points. It's like an offensive defense situation. Celestians were thinking about doing a bit of a base trade, but not quite. Confessor is still alive. Got another Rhino. I'm going to go for a second exit. How much do you cost? 125. Ah, it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things, but the sisters' economy is now what the Imperial Guards was a little while ago. But no Chimeras to help them run away. That's just so many men. Manufacturing goes down. Confessor right in the middle. A big old smite. Throwing a billion, bajillion dead men across the battlefield. Oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Now potential to just wither them down, but how many guardsmen are still knocking about? No, squad, no mid squad wipes. And yeah, there's still plenty of them, so they can just reinforce them back to full numbers, sir. While losing a lot, they've still got the ability just to maintain their position. Also, they haven't lost the relic, but they've certainly lost the listing person on top of it. Good heavens to Betsy. Feel God trying to get back home, but Celestian's just not letting them. Amir is also taking the brunt of fire. I mean, that's just all Inferno pistol, but still not bad. Good lord. Trying to go for this narrow choke point, that just increases the amount of an AoE that they'll take. They can't, oh God, they're just, they're just they're stranded. There's no hope. There's, there's no way to get back home. So there we go. One squad is going to run that way. The other one's going to run the other way. Sacrificing themselves for that there greater good. They'll hold the line, gosh darn it. We'll, we'll do a bit of POV for them. Give them the send-off that, that they so rightly deserve. Go on, men. Survive. They're only women. There's only so many of them. Oh, no, never mind. They're just being... They don't even care. They're just facing the wall. If, if, we, if we ignore them, they'll go away. That's a strategy. Ah, bless them. Well, for the Imperial Guard, they're inside the base. Sorry, I, I probably missed something very useful there, but... You know, I'm in it for the memes, baby. I'm in it for the memes. Exus falls back. As the lads are just running amok across the battlefield. Current economy is 109 and, 33, and 39. But it's 72 and 52. So even though the sisters have been taking a beating in the economic department, the Imperial Guard aren't a million light years ahead of them. Which they could be, but they're not. But they've got a basilisk. Artillery on artillery action. And yeah, the sisters really need to focus on recapturing these listening uh, posts. If they want to make it through the long and short of it. Plasma guns. Oh no, never mind. They were thinking about firing, but then got blown up and decided to run away instead. Fair enough. Can't fight when you're on fire. Seems that Confessor carrying around with him quite a sizable damage buff. Oh, an attempted smite. Probably not the wisest time to use it, to be fair, when you've got all this chaff that you can throw a smite in the middle with. He was thinking about picking off a squad there, which I can see where he's coming from with that. Oh, dear. Those guardsmen just been sent flying by one straggling missile. More Ecclesial Conservators and a Manufactorum to be built. Attempting to recapture their strategic points, but not quite being able to get it. And that Exorcist just missing everything there. Go on, have another go. We'll get them next time. Where do those rockets go? <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Also, good thing is that it spreads out the Guardsmen as well. So these guys are a little bit far flung forward. These guys with the plasma guns as well aren't exactly firing neither. So it's not just the damage that the Exorcist brings to the table. It's also that all-important knockback. We're now seeing the second one coming in. And it seems that the Sisters of Battle are taking their turn to play defensive. What's the Peel Guards plan here? Just more Chimeras, more lads. It's just pure brute strength. 
It's the boys going off on a journey. And I guess, I mean, what do you do? Do you choose just to go through one area? I mean, the sisters are spread out at the moment. So it might be an idea just to decide, right, okay, just pick one lane and go down that. It always then runs the risk of the one that isn't being attacked to flank around your sides. I see a Chimera pat to the brim with lads. Go north. A little taxi service. Take it down, not listening first. Exodus missiles been spread apart once again. And it's a two-pronged attack. Very brave. But will require a lot of attention to detail and micro. Popping the boys in and out as they fall back. Melter bomb destroying that Chimera. And lads think, right, okay, let's focus on all these Celestians down here. Most Celestians come over on the northern side. Another big missile on top of that Chimera. And the Exorcists. Celestians attempting to engage in glorious hand to hand combat as Guardsmen have been thrown left, right, and centre. More Chimeras coming into play. Commas are the making sure that the guys aren't exactly going to be feeling too bad about the situation. They've got the numbers. Doesn't matter if the Celestians kill them. There's only a few of them, and they're a lot more expensive to reinforce at 45 blue and 10 green. The sisters do have plenty of green to work with there, so not too bad for them. And just trying to get them all down, but there's just too many of them. For every one that falls, 10 more will take his place. And keep on keeping on. Onwards and upwards. Scouty is thinking, nah, none of this. Triple R from Master Yerba just shows how much the GGs were. But yeah, it was, uh, I mean, I think maybe a little bit premature, but in all fairness, even without the Imperial Guard bringing their bigger toys to uh, to the battlefield, massively upgraded Imperial Guardsmen, got the plasma guns, got the grenade launchers, anything that the sisters could throw at them with their dwindling economy at that point would have been a slow and gradual defeat for them. Although, like I said, I, I mean, maybe there's a reason why there weren't penitent engines being used in that scenario, but I would like to know uh, what, what the, I mean, reasons for that would have been. Although maybe, I suppose, maybe towards the end of the game, that wouldn't have been the idea. But certainly, uh, towards the beginning, when they had a bit more of a um, uh, advantage on them and they were, you know, poking and prodding here and there and everywhere. There we go. Okay, that is the game. So, uh, cheers, boys and girls, for watching at home. And if you want to the channel, have a look at the old Patreon. One pound a month gets you once a game a week. And there is also a Discord where Discord things happen. Links in the description as always. Management Miss Landshark, pleasure as always, never chart. Now I'll see you in a bit. Peace.